This tutorial is to show you how to do an eye blink uh, inside um, a graphic symbol. As you can see this is a graphic symbol because it's got a blue bounding box around it and up in the properties you see it says it's a graphic and it, the name of the graphic. So what I've done here is I've used the same eye and just flipped it. So I'll show you if you get the library and bring the eye that you create in and then you want to bring another one and obviously they're looking both the same way which is no good if you go to modify transform and flip horizontal and then move it over you can see you have then can you make two eyes it depends how your character looks whether you, the eyes are widespread or close together or as you can see, they blink. Okay, so we can get rid of these. And just focus on the, um, showing you how to do the eye blink now. So the way to get inside the symbol is double clicking in. So now, come from scene one and you've gone into eye blink I want to go back out to the scene and not in the editing mode I get to go back so now to go back in double click okay so we have I've got two layers because I've I've actually um, used a real image of a, an eye but the actual pupil um, rather than draw it actually show you that in the library so what I did I went on Pinterest and I found looked up some different types of eyes I did actually quite like this one I thought it was quite interesting reflection of a clock in the eye um, but I tried both and this seemed to work better I just took uh, a crop shot screenshot command shift 4 on a Mac and uh, then I took it into Photoshop and I raised around the edge so I just that's all I had was this center part that I and saved it as a PND PNG sorry um, so I have the transparency and this uh, it just comes in like that okay it doubles up because we've got two symbols on this page okay so um, then all I did was really I drew um, the eyelid closing and then opening again and I actually have left it just open for just over three seconds because I think I timed my own blink and it was three to four seconds so I think that's about right and um, you could try it a little bit longer and um, just try it out for yourself okay so um, just to show you, I'll just do another layer and I'll just do, just copy this eye and do basic eye. So if I go to, I can change that to black. And I'm just going to do it really rough. So on my first keyframe, I'm just going to do an eye really, really rough. thin this down a bit but that's shocking <laughs> let's make the brush a little bit smaller there you go I won't worry how it looks let's just do the eye and I need stuff okay so then I'll insert a keyframe here and you can see it's repeating it in the other symbol and if I put the um, onion skin on I can see 
what my previous eye was like. Now I can redraw completely or I could just erase the lid and go lower. You can see, you can see where you went before. Now it could be easier just to redraw because this gets so fiddly otherwise. Um, but it's up to you. So I'm just going to do this as quick as I can. So I'm going lower and so keep going. Yeah, maybe I went too low that time. I should be down there now. So in this keyframe, I think I went a bit crazy. I should have gone a bit um, higher. Never mind. So I'm just going to go a little bit lower. And I would advise you to redraw it, not do what I'm doing. I'm just doing this for quickness just to show you. It's going to be mighty terrible. Oh my, terrible. Lesson learned, redraw, it's quicker. <laughs> okay, so then on this keyframe, so it's right click insert keyframe or F6. We're actually going to close the eye completely. So let's erase that. And I'm using a mouse. I've got no room whatsoever to do it. It's better to get the user graphics tablet, by the way. Okay, so um, then we insert a keyframe and we could be lazy and must be drawing command C and edit paste in place. So that's a lazy way because you're just re copying the insert keyframe. Sorry, I'm talking, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> so we copied that one, then we copy this one, and you can either command C, paste in place, or copy frames. Paste frames and then insert keyframe, delete that, copy frames, really sensitive mouse, paste frames. So I can take the under skin off now and show you my Pauline drawing. Insert a frame there to copy that all across and then then obviously you'd uh, cut that in. So that was really quickly just to show you how you can draw. So um, there's really lazy quick ways or there's actually redraw it every time using the onion skin and it comes out very good. Now I could have um, coloured this in as well and it would have been better to do that really. Should we do purple crazy purple eyes? Yeah, let's deselect first otherwise it'll end up um, colouring in. When it goes dotty it means it's going to colour that in so 
be careful. So, um, probably look really crazy. Ah, okay. Right, when that happens, sometimes this line doesn't connect properly. So the way to do that is down here, there's uh, close large gaps. Always have that on because it's uh, the best way. And then you can obviously go to V, deselect. The paint bucket is K. V to the arrow tool to deselect K for the bucket. Deselect K bucket. The shortcuts really help, otherwise, it takes forever to do things. There you go. Okay, so if we go back to scene, we've got our um, two sets of eyes now. <laughs> um, Let's go back to properties because I just want to show you something. If we um, click on this and go to the properties, you can see here under the looping drop down. So if it's not drop down, just open up the little arrow. Um, at the moment, that is on single frame, first frame. So if I go command enter, it will just sit on that first frame and do nothing. So you can actually control your um, animation through this uh, looping section on the in the properties so let's say I want it to loop from the first frame if I go command enter now they should blink and the reason the other symbol isn't blinking because that's still stuck on the single frame so I'll show you so although these are both the same symbol you do have to literally select them and change this the options here so to get that to loop as well we have to touch that so there you go okay so that's quite a good option here um, if you want to use the frame picker you could actually put it onto single frame and choose a frame maybe at the beginning of an animation the eyes are closed so if we just do this for both single frame and then if we go command enter the eyes stay closed because that's what you told it to do so yeah, it's quite handy. And this um, frame picker is quite good because you can visually see, literally, rather than scrubbing along and double clicking back into the graphic symbol, you've got every visual of every frame here, which is quite good. Um, so if we go back to loop, and we need to change that from frame one. loop there you go back to loop so if i go command enter to test it just blink so you can do your style however you want really um you could maybe create some nicely detailed pupils in photoshop you can keep it simple like this or you can use mixed media like that so really um up to you but as you can see it's not not too difficult to do this frame by frame just get your timing right so make sure you keep the closed eye closed for longer and usually two frames for two frames for each um, drawing is quite good and then like I say three to four seconds to hold the blink um, maybe a bit longer will look more natural but that's something you need to test out so I'm extending it here I'm going to go back to scene one that will loop for that will stay open for longer now okay that's 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 it really um quite a nice straightforward way to do an eye blink and then also be able to control it inside a symbol so um yeah have a go